You can watch loads more CBBC shows and full episodes on the BBC iPlayer app. Download it for free today. I think it's time the jury retired. This is Gerald. He's almost as old as my jokes. I know. Goodbye now. Go on. Take your time. <laughs> oh, Gerald! Let's get on with it. Max and Harvey, the mashup jury, have found you guilty of crimes punishable by sly. What say you again? Anything to say in your defence? Why? Anything? Max is genuine. Objection of our world. We do not care. I dare. We do not care. I must now introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm Harp Score attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Max and Harvey with a series of tough questions. Now, if they get the answer right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong, it they'll be dealt matter. with some rough slush. Oh, it does matter. Oh, it does. Just gonna when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. Now, Max and Harvey, it's time for you to take to the stand for the 50th time. Your 90-second interrogation oh. starts <laughs> now. <laughs> Which singer is to represent the UK in this year's Europe? Sam Ryder! Sam Ryder! Correct, Rider. correct. Yeah. A tattoo first edition Harry Potter book bought from a charity shop has sold over £15,000. But how much was it originally bought for? £19.99. Oh, you're very close, but it's not. It's 50 pence. Slime there. What? Yeah. Scientists oh, discovered a lost shipwreck this week, 107 years after the vessel sank. But what was the ship's name? Bessie. Endurance. Slime them. <laughs> I was close. Which 76-year-old country singing legend <laughs> announced this week that she penned her first novel? It's probably Dolly Parton. Correct. Yeah. An Australian <laughs> sign language interpreter got more than he bargained for when what type of animal pooed on him during a live news broadcast? A monkey. An owl. What? Slime them. Which singer turned up late for the Dior fashion show last week? Uh, Adele. Rihanna. Ah. <laughs> On Tuesday, it was International Women's Day. In what year was it first celebrated? 1926. Ooh, 1909. Slime oh. You gave Jenny from the chase easier questions than this. I'm sorry. Oh, dear. <laughs> TikTok announced recently it was increasing its maximum video length to how many minutes? 10 minutes. Correct. Yay. Which soap announced this week that they're building a new precinct set? Oh, who now? Which soap? Any the, soap? Oh, um, G EastEnders. Yeah. Coronation Street. Oh, oh, yeah. It was one or the other. Knitted corgis <gasps> are. Ooh, time's what? up. Oh, all right, Slushness has been served for you, twins. Three. You got three. How do you feel about that high score? I, I'm happy with Please three. come and see us on tour. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please. You deserve to do that. Uh, we can send you to one further question because it's time for <laughs> this. Stop listing them. Max and Harvey, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll leave the studio as free people Ooh. and you'll earn yourselves 20 points! Yeah. Yeah. But if you get it wrong, you'll be faced with so much slime that it just can't be legal slime. Can I have some tension music, please? How are you feeling? Liz? Great, we know what we're going to answer. Oh, yeah. you we already, already know, know the answer. answer. Yeah. You already know it, do you? OK, we'll see about that. Here is your ultimate question. The BAFTA Awards are being held tomorrow night at the Royal Albert Hall in London, but how far away is that from the mashup studio here in Glasgow as the crow flies? We're going to London, Birmingham, Sheffield, Nottingham, Liverpool, uh, Glasgow, Glasgow on the tour date. That's uh, where, like, where most else? of them. Like 3,500 miles, I don't know. 3,500 oh, miles. It's incorrect. The answer oh, is 345 oh, miles. Oh, no. You didn't mention Leeds. How do you feel? That's because we're not going to Leeds. A recent client of mine sued an airline company for losing their luggage. They lost the case. <laughs> I know, luggage comedy. Ah, look, it isn't. Zand, the mashup jury found you guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence? Well, I didn't mean. Objection, all the rules, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. I must now introduce to you the case for the prosecution. 
I'm Hearts Core attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Dr. Zand with a series of tough questions. Now, if our star gets the answer right, they get one point. Mm. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush taste when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. Yes, Dr. Dr. Zand, it's time to take to the stand. <laughs> That rhymes. 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 I know. Your 90 second interrogation starts now. A farmer in Israel has grown the largest ever strawberry recorded. How much did it weigh? <laughs> A kilo. 289 grams. Storm Eunice damaged the roof of which famous London arena last week? The O2! Correct! Yes! The world's most valuable blue diamond is going up for sale in April. How much is it said to be worth? I don't know! Give it a guess. Any number? 50 quid! Ooh! 35 million slimer! <laughs> Britain's most successful Olympian announced his retirement this week. Who is it? Tom Daly. Jason Kenny Slimer! <laughs> A monstrous species of ancient sea scorpion has been discovered in which country? Wales! Australia! No! A beach in Progreso, Mexico recently became home to which unlikely animals? I don't know! I didn't even hear the question! Okay, well it was pigs! <laughs> Heavyweight champion boxer Tyson Fury will face which opponent in April? I don't know! Dillian White Slime! Yes! Which pop star kicked off his delayed world tour in San Diego this week? Any pop star? Ed Sheeran! Justin Bieber! Slime! Oh. Which women's international football team won the 2022 Pinnacle Cup this week? The England Belgium women! Slime! I don't know! Oh, lovely stuff! <laughs> Would you like to know how many you got correct? No! Wait, um, I don't know. Hang on, hang on. Um, yes, no, go just on then. One, did I get one, in? Which, which one did I get right? I can't remember. You can the watch it back one. on iPlayer. Now, ah! You can add more points to your scores now. Now let that sink in, literally, because I'm sentencing you to this. Dr. Zand, answer the ultimate question correctly. You'll leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. Hey, happy day. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. So, can I have some tension music, please? Dr. Zand, how are you feeling just out of interest? The slime is colder than you would want it to be, I will say that. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's what yes. we like is to hear. Is it, though? Is it? Yeah, it's good for us. Dr. Zand, here is your ultimate question. Operation Ouch first aired on TV on the 3rd of October 2012, but... How many days ago was that from today? <laughs> You're in that show. It's all right, quit maths. Come on, Dad, you can do this. 10,000! No, that can't be right. 3,000, 4,000! Bro! Is that Shit, your final? 3,698! Final answer? Yes! Oh, oh. Dr. Zan, I'm actually impressed you're very close. It's 3,434 days. No, which come means on! Come on, I'm you were right to it wrong! Please no! 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 Damien Codd, I'm just ironing out the details of my lawsuit. Da, 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 what, not for you? OK, then. Suit yourselves. <laughs> See ya. What was There it is. Yes, but later, what was the point? Ironing? Anyway, back to this, JJ. You have been found guilty by the mashup jury of crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence? I'm not convinced either of you have been to law school. This Objection is... Objection over! It was an online court. This is a sham court. It was online, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Head to the case for the prosecution. That was slightly rude. I'm Hart's Core Attorney at Law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining JJ with a series of tough questions. If our star gets the answer right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong... They will be dealt with so much slushness when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. Mm. So, JJ, it's time for you to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation Nine starts. Seconds. 
No! Baby Shark has recently surpassed how many billion online views? Give it a guess. Uh, like, six billion. Ten million. Ah! Slow date this week? I've got slime in my ear, I can't even hear you. <laughs> Do you want to guess a date of this week? Any number? Is that what? Uh, uh, Tuesday? 17th of January, slime is that Tuesday? <laughs> what team is currently top of the men's English Premier League? Uh, look, uh, Man City. Correct. <laughs> what country will host the Winter Olympics in 2026? 2026. Oh, oh, no, no. Italy, Slime! Oh. How many oh. different events will take place across the 2022 Winter Olympics? Oh, uh, 16. No. 190. <laughs> Slime! Him. Oh. What country is building a new capital city because its current one is sinking? Which uh, country? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Indonesia, Slime! Him. Oh. Microsoft announced this week that they were buying which games company for almost $17? 70, 70 billion, sorry. 70 billion. <laughs> uh, are they buying Nintendo? No. Activision uh, Blizzard. Oh. Slime him! <laughs> what is the German word for Saturday? Oh, I don't know. Don't even know. Samstag, <laughs> slime him! <laughs> which zoo is celebrating Smoke the birth room. of not one, but two baby mandrels this week? Which zoo? Oh. Chester Zoo, slime him! Okay. <laughs> The slushies has been served, JJ. Please don't find out where I live. Um, I can tell you that you got one right. Yeah. <laughs> I need that myself. Um, would you like to add more points to your score? Um, you uh, can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a confident yes. Well, in that case, I sentence you to one further question. It's time for this. JJ, answer the ultimate question correctly. You leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. Oh, okay, okay. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't actually be legal. So, can I have some tension music, please? I still can't hear. <laughs> Say it nice and loud. Here is your ultimate question, JJ. <laughs> How many people in the UK tuned in to watch Torville and Dean win gold in the Winter Olympics in 1984? Oh, to the nearest million. million. Uh, 10 million. Is that your oh. final answer? Yeah. You're locking it in. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're wrong. The answer's actually 24 million. Whoa. Which means it's time to super <laughs> You're enjoying this too much. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm. You deserve a gold medal for that, Delicious. doesn't it? Yes. Uh, How are you feeling? Uh, you like one of the Olympics? Wet. Yeah. Wet. Yes, nice. Well, as you let it soak in quite literally, here's what's coming up next week on Saturday Mashup. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alicia, and did you know that BBC iPlayer is home to lots of amazing dramas in a safe, ad-free space? If you want more drama in your life, then just download the free BBC iPlayer app to watch all episodes of The Next Step, The Dumping Ground, and Jamie Johnson, and lots more, whenever you like. Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet today's contender. Name? Richie. Occupation? Blue Peter presenter. <laughs> Specialist subject? Survival. Huh? I'm afraid, Richie, we haven't prepared any questions on survival, okay. but instead you will be getting quizzed on what's been happening this week. So I hope that you've been paying attention. Are you ready? No, no, you can't have that, I don't think. Give me that! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you to In a minute. thanking me. <laughs> Thank you. In a minute and a half. Here we go. <gasps> Ronnie O'Sullivan won the Snooker World Championship again this week, but how many times has he now won it in total? Give it a guess. Luca. Uh, uh, seven. Oh, right, correct. <laughs> Two endangered penguin eggs have successfully hatched this week at which UK zoo? I didn't get it. Wait, no, can you repeat it, please? Any zoo? Any zoo? <laughs> Chester! Any zoo? Lady Gaga released a new song. 
song this week called Hold My Hand, but which upcoming film does it appear on the soundtrack for? Oh, I actually know. Uh, Top Gun. Yes, correct. Which football team are top of the Women's Super League ahead of their final game this weekend? Arsenal. Nope, it's Chelsea. Slime in! Yeah! What is the name of the latest Marvel film that was released this week? Doctor Strange. Correct. Oh, easy. In an interview earlier this week, which legendary daytime TV host did Prime Minister Boris Johnson appear to have never heard of? That was a It's Morgan. Question. Lorraine Kelly. Yeah! Slime in! Which Strictly Dancing duo are up for a TV BAFTA in this Sunday's awards? Um, um, the winners, Rose and the other one. Rosalind Ellis and Giovanni <laughs> Panicho. <Slime in! laughs> a new species of dinosaur was discovered by researchers in Argentina this week, but what type of dinosaur is it? The, the, the creepy crawly <laughs> kind. Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan announced this week they'd reprise their roles on which Australian team? Neighbours! Correct. A football shirt was sold for over seven million this week at an auction, but which legend we've Diego Maradona! Uh, sorry? Diego Maradona. Correct. Which band are live streaming their final tour performance next week? Little Mix, Slime Little Mix! Yeah, I've started, so I'll finish. Oh, that was warm. That was Ooh. a surprise, wasn't it? That was a warm. Now, I, like I can that. tell you, you didn't have many passes, but you did get a good score. Thank you. Five. Five <laughs> points. <laughs> Do you uh, want to add more points to your score of five? Yes, please. Yes, OK, it's not a survival, but let's find out what you're up against. It's this time. <laughs> Richie, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll give yourself 20 points. <laughs> If you get it wrong, we'll cover you in more buckets of slime than you've got IQ points, and that's about 40. Not much. So, um, here we go. Here is your ultimate question. How are you feeling? Never, ever better in my life. Good. Is that the correct answer? That's a great answer. Oh. Here is your ultimate question. question. Oh. Blue Peter is the longest-running TV show in the world, having first aired on the 16th of October, 1958. But, Richie, how many days ago was that? You're in that. That's 1958. Really <laughs> How many days ago was that? Yeah, 16th right. of October, 1958. How Four, many days? 14,000. Uh, no, uh, uh, 100, 180, 100, 180, 000, 164. I'm afraid the answer is 23,314 days ago, which means it's time to super <laughs> Richie, Richie, Richie! How do you feel now, slimy man? You are. <laughs> Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet this morning's contender. Your name? Lee. Your occupation? Content creator. OK. Are your specialist subject? I don't have one. <laughs> All right, well, that's good, because we didn't prepare anything on anything else anyway, apart from the Jubilee celebration. So I hope, Lee, that you've been paying close attention. Are you ready? No, I'm not, actually. Is there any way I can do a break? Oh, sure, no, sure, sure. Well, sure. In a minute and a half. Here we go. <gasps> Which country's national football team beat Scotland in the World Cup qualifier match at Hampton Park this week? Uh, uh, England. Ukraine, slime him! <laughs> China went viral this week for having an unusual hairstyle. What animal was it? A parrot. It was a lion. Yes, it was. <laughs> Which city has been named the UK City of Culture 2025? Uh, well, uh, what, well, I don't even know what a country is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scientists have discovered which sea creatures have accents. Um. Just give me a sea horses. creature. Sea horses? No, it's actually dolphin slime in. Yeah. Archaeologists have found the ruins of an ancient Mayan city on a construction site in which country? Um, England. Mexico. Oh. Slime in. Yeah. Which tennis player won their first ever Grand Slam final in the female singles this week in the French Open? Um, oh, fine. Ask me another one. Coco <laughs> Gauss. Yeah. What is the name of the cake of Kate Bush song which has re-entered the charts after being featured on the new series of Stranger Things? Um, there's a song about Kate! I don't know! <laughs> Running up that hill, slime <laughs> Which members of 
the royal family made a guest appearance in this week's EastEnders. Oh, I don't watch EastEnders. <laughs> That's out Any member of the royal family? <laughs> Prince Charles and Camilla, slide in! <laughs> and that's it, time is up. Oh, oh, sorry, I started, so I'll finish. Oh. <laughs> ah. Wow. Lee, Lee, Hinge. Do you know what? This might not help, but I'm just gonna. Just gonna put that there. Cheers, mate. Thank you. How are you feeling, Lee Sidecliff? Uh, can you repeat that? I can't hear because of these ears. <laughs> it's coming out your nostril. I've got hey, bubbles. Now, do you know how many points you got? Yeah, please. Nothing. Absolutely Zero. Not. nothing. I You're rubbish, nothing mate. Less, nothing less. Well, you could be better. I could. Do you want to add more points? Um, no. Yeah, why not? Oh, that's good because it's time for this. OK, Lee, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll give yourself 20 points! Yeah. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it will be actually more than your IQ points, which is roughly about 40. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. OK, let's do this. Here it is. The Queen succeeded to the throne on the 6th of February, 1952. Lee? Yes? How many days has she been reigning for? She has been for 365 days in a year. 365 <laughs> times two is... I did do maths, so a million and 20,000. Is that there. your final answer? <laughs> yeah. That went up a level. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the right answer. The, right, is the right answer, answer is 25,687 ah. days, which means it's time to super yeah. <laughs> of the flag. Oh. How do you feel on this Royal Jubilee slamming? I feel amazing. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mashed Up Mind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet this morning's contenders. Your names? Ashley. Glenn. Your occupations? Dancer. Dancer. Your specialist subjects? Maths. <laughs> Lies, dancer. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm afraid we haven't prepared any questions on any of those, but instead you will be getting quizzed on what's been happening this week. So I hope you've been paying attention. Are you ready? No. Ready. Have you been paying attention? No. no. Right, great. Well, in a minute and a half, here we go. <gasps> Which member of the royal family was seen covering their ears on the balcony of Buckingham Palace during the oh. Jubilee celebrations? Prince George. Prince Not... George, incorrect, is Prince Louis. Slide them! Oh! <laughs> what type of creatures have recently been trained to assist rescuers of people trapped in earthquake debris? Which type of creatures? Just give it a guess. Creatures? Mm -hmm. Any creature? Crocodile? Right, slide them! <laughs> scored his 50th goal for the England men's football team in a match against Germany this week, becoming the second male player to achieve this. But who was the first? No idea. Wayne Rooney, oh. slam them! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Rock band The Killers played a stadium gig in Falkirk in Scotland this week and invited a fan on stage to play what instrument for them? Guitar! Drums! Oh. Oh. Robbie Williams announced he will release a new album in September this week with the title being the Roman numerals for which number? Any number. 10. 25. Slime them. Oh! Oh! Apple announced a major update to its iPhone operating system this week, but what is the name of it? Oh, uh, iPhone. No, no idea. Oh! A man appeared on BBC Radio Scotland this week and brought his unusual pet with him to the studio, but what was it? Dolphin! An alpaca, <laughs> oh! Oh! Which broadcaster was awarded a royal honour this week for services to TV broadcasting and conservation? What's this? So David Attenborough slimed them. Oh! oh! And one Whoa. more just for luck. I said I'd finish. No! Oh! It's cold. Oh! Oh, it's lumpy. Right. It's lumpy. Guys, unfortunately, you got zero points. How do you feel after that? I thought that was the score we meant to get. We're going for that. Yeah. Well done, mate. Thank you. Well done. Do you want to add some more points to your score? Um, no, thanks. Actually, really does. I don't. He loves points. <laughs> well, you kind of have to because it's time for this. Look at that one. Twist and pulse. It's time for your ultimate question. Now, if you answer it correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score. Hey! 
you get it wrong, you'll be seeing more buckets of slime than you've actually got IQ points, which is about 14. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, here we go. How are you feeling? Cold. Cold. Um, lovely. Slimy. Lovely, slimy. Confident? Uh, yeah. 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 Always, always. All right, well, here is your ultimate question. <laughs> OK. The final of the latest series of Britain's Got Talent was broadcast last Sunday. Yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah. Yeah. And you first competed in a final all the way back on 5th of June 2010. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, all I need to know, guys, is how many days ago was that? Are you joking? I should have added that Take up your time. Um... Work it out. <laughs> Give it a guess. What's the number? 7,000. How many? 322. 7,000. Locking it in? Yeah. Right. Well, that's Perfect. incorrect, because the actual answer is 4,390 days, which means that's what I said. it's time to super slime it! Oh, my God! No! You're horrible! No! That's not nice! Oh, my God! No way! You're horrible! No! Why are you cheering? How do you guys feel after that? Uh, Sammy! Sammy! <laughs> Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet today's contender. Name? Regan. Occupation? Dancer. Specialist subject? Reptiles. Mm. Mm. I'm afraid we haven't prepared any questions on that. <laughs> but instead, you will be getting quizzed on what's been going on this week. So I hope you've been paying attention, Regan. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> but, All right, then. Good. In a minute and a half. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Which girl band have said they'll be reforming this week for a special one-off concert? Give it a guess. Little Mix. Oh, it's Girls Aloud. Slime! Slime! Yeah! Yeah! Who made a surprise guest appearance at Coachella Music Festival singing oh. Man, I Feel Like a Woman with Shania Twain? No idea! Literally. Harry Styles Slime! Yeah! It was oh revealed God, this week that a woman in Wales kept a chocolate Easter egg unopened and in mint condition for how many years? Give it a guess. I don't even know what you said. Oh, I don't know. Know. A rare type of frog from Australia is being set free into the wild. What is the type of frog? Bullfrog. Spotted chocolate uh. frog. Slimer! Uh. Toby Keith is the oldest living dog in the world at 21 years old, but what breed of dog is he? Uh, I don't know. Jonas recently announced that they'll be launching a new slingshot rocket, but where is the rocket located? Oh, I don't know, USA. New Mexico, ah, USA. No. Yeah. 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 Ah. Liverpool played Manchester United this Wednesday. What was the score? I don't know. 4 0 to Liverpool. So, yeah. Yeah. Prince Harry attended the Invictus Games this week, but what are the names of his two children? Uh, I don't know. I can't even hear your questions. I'm not. I'm sure. Archie and Lilibet. So, yeah. Yeah. Britain's oh. Got Talent is back on TV. Name oh. just one of the judges. Oh my you can God. do this. A Name judge one of the judges of Britain's judge. Got Talent. Go on. Amanda Holden. Got it. We'll give you that. Oh. Yeah. 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 So I'll finish. Yeah. 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 How do you feel apart from cold? I am pretty cold. Yes. <laughs> Slimy. Well, I can tell you, you had one point. <laughs> one point. Oh. Many passes and one point. Would you like to add more points? Um, uh, why not? You get a free coat? OK, yeah. No yeah, coat yeah, included, no. I was lying. Oh, it's time for this. Oh. <laughs> Regan, if oh. you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll give yourself 20 points and you'll leave the studio <laughs> free. <laughs> but if you get it wrong, you'll see so much slime that you've never seen that much slime in your entire life. Mm. So here is your ultimate question. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, cold. Yeah. Yeah, gather time. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Here we go. OK, go on. The final of Dancing on Ice Series 1 was broadcast on the 4th of March 2006. But, Regan, how many days ago was that? Hmm. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's all right, you can 5, take it away now. 500,000, I don't know. 500,000. It's a lot. Is that what you're going with? It's a lot of days, isn't it? It's a lot, a lot of days, that, it's Regan. It's but the actual answer is 5,895 oh. days, which means it's time to super oh slime! Yes! The mashup mob got wild! 
this more scary than the ice? I don't know. It's it colder than the yeah. ice. That's what's Hi, I'm Alicia, and did you know that BBC iPlayer is the home to lots of amazing dramas in a safe and ad-free space? Download the free BBC iPlayer app to watch full episodes of all your favourite dramas like The Next Step, Jamie Johnson and The Dumping Ground and so many more.